Okay, so I guess I finally figured out how to make this start. Uh, let me find my phone because I have a fear of it crashing and breaking. It's a pocket issue. Like, I should have been born a kangaroo. It would have been so much easier to deal with this planet. Oops. <sighs> There's my cat. She went running. Alright. Like, what happens is, uh... I do miracles, right? Where everything that touches my finger moves on its own. And then not only that, but it'll bounce away in an elaborate way. It'll line up with other things. I have tons of secrets to show you scientists if I ever get a hold of them. A world of scientists. So this tape is dedicated to trying to show that. I, what I was just telling you in the tape that didn't work was that um, this is all based on child torture, my identity, love, being filled with the Holy Spirit, and it's not for entertainment purposes, as much as it's kind of like freaking, I mean, give an adrenaline rush to the entire scientific community. And then the mathematicians, like, they're, they're going to have a lot of fun trying to figure out what Dina did. I did it subconsciously, that is where all genius exists, it's in your subconscious, it's very rare that somebody just suddenly comes out and says some ingenious thing. It's like, uh, anyway, it's just, and another thing is that uh, the meditation, the transcendental meditation and the key to it being profound rest, my artwork matches it and beats it. I can stand by that. I'm I'm living to meet Dr. John Hagelin and Dr. Bruce Lipton and show them what they never dreamed. For Dr. Bruce Lipton, what you didn't know is that children that are geniuses are not just little living tape recorders that were reasoning at the age of three. When my mother abandoned us and all I saw was her walking away as I'm going through the world's hardest story of millions, but mine is, well, is to help millions. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, let me see. Then when mom would visit once a week, I was famous, as she would say later, for saying, blah, 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 blah. Am I talking too much? But I have a photographic recollection of a glimpse of the memory of a, that I had a lot of stuff to get off my chest. I've heard two precocious girls in this neighborhood. You could tell one was not even four. And then uh, the other one is just, it, maybe five but the point being that um nah you don't understand what goes on between a mother and a, and a daughter for instance just let's pretend it's a daughter is uh that child that's just first beginning to learn things from the age of three to seven I can tell you that they're capable of a million times more than you ever dreamed if any of them are geniuses like me on um, battery power is low so okay so I just wanted to say that, and that the meditation would never begin to address the issue of the profound child torture story. And then that was going to remain for the intelligence. In other words, God, like, guys, you know, like, let your hair down, man. Ah, and you have. You've all come through for me and for the world so far. Like, you're all completely ready for me. It's, it's been a secret for, like, 11 years that I know that the whole world would have been radically improved at any point back a year ago 11 years ago if my artwork got out but it gave you guys and i'm not trying to be funny seriously it gave you a chance to catch up with me to receive me to understand two of the most important things in the world dr john hagley you're dead right see i tried to tell you uh, 11 years ago 10 or 11 years ago I could practically hear you breathing on the line, but the answer was no, we already have the perfect meditation. Well, my thing is in the meditation, even though it rivals your thing. I have to say that because it is a more profound rest. It is the deepest rest that exists. It's called being slain in the Holy Spirit. And since that intelligence, God, is real, Another way you could say is the power of God, or in my in my understanding, that's the Mother Mary, that's the Sophia wisdom, the Holy Spirit. Okay. 
the point is not the, the little details right now. It is a huge story to come out. It'll take me like four hours to make a movie, do miracles, and explain things. Like, I have tons of knowledge, and I've done millions of experiments. I make, you know, most scientists, other than you guys at the... It's Quantum Physics Institute, the Quantum University, and the Noetic Science Place. I look like losers because I live and breathe observation. It's like, a, uh, I'm a loner, and even though I'm uh, nonstop evangelizing, as they call it, testifying about things as a um, call to, like, whatever comes out, that's what you're supposed to, that, it worked, like, uh, what am I trying to tell you? That, um, I've had plenty of time to do nothing but focus on uh, my entire life, basically. But, really, like, for the last uh, 19 years, um, since I've been separated. And, uh, so, for the last four, uh, three years, I've been, I've done at least three million of these miracles. So, since the battery's gonna die, I'll bump it up. The second, so, the, so for Dr. John Hagelin, yes, I completely understand why your thing, the ancient thing, you know, works, and they're finally pulling their heads out of, you know, like that. But a million k kids in 400 schools, it's just nothing. Sorry, you know, it's, it's a good step. But compared to the whole world being doused with that type of a... Uh, what you also figured out that I figured out 11 years ago using your whole brain and you're doing it in this perfect pattern way you know uniform and uh, and Jesus said the kingdom is within but most of us never dreamed what that means because when you close your eyes all you see is black and for most of the world as you as you Dr. John know uh, there's a bunch of crap going on in their heads and I know because ages ago my head was filled with stuff and I didn't understand where am I like you know I mean that's when I was like 15 so what I'm trying to say is uh my mind has been 100% quiet like for decades now and um so you can understand that um I've learned a lot in the silence because um we are in a classroom with God whether you know it or not but if you know it it really helps and if you're quiet with him it could really uh, do big things so um, there was another very key thing, uh, stress. I was trying to tell you, you know, you know, if it's the last thing I do, Dr. John Hagel, it's to show you that my thing just automatically reduces stress, period. It's not a big discipline. It's way easier than anyone to sit down and do this, although it's great to do it with kids, but you can hardly teach grown-ups to get interested in meditation. It's going to be a long time before, little by little. It's, it's never just going to be like, ah, we're all going to meditate. Like, nah. In fact, the closest thing to that is going to a Pentecostal church and 25 or 100 of us just, boom. You know, uh, Jesus said, may have said, go in your closet and pray. But this stupid stuff of, like, dare you not lift your hands when it works. In other words, we do both. The sincere people that are working directly for God, like me, that have long since been audibly hearing the voice of God happen to coincidentally be Jewish and a descendant of Moses and Aaron and all that and child tortured from hell and um that uh the stress level I don't know where I was but the stress level I want to show you you wave my artwork around and it's a joy there are so many things to be done with my artwork from coloring them in which makes the adult geometry thing is like it's like it's stupid and then they, they claim that it's somehow therapeutic. Yeah, for a moron. Or, f or in the most minimum way. Like, I, I just, you know, I gotta be blunt. And uh, But my thing is extremely profound. Any child you move it in front of or they're playing with my mimsy blocks, um, they're gonna be dead asleep within a few minutes if they're already tired. Anybody that's already high, you know, on weed, because that's the only thing I respect in the universe, um, will be asleep, like, within minutes. Because if you're a little sleepy... So now they, they don't have to smoke that extra blunt and spend that extra 10 bucks like that. So I used to think from the beginning that they're all going to want to kill me because, you know, there'll be less pills sold. But thank God, you know, we're moving along here and 
secretly, you guys have overtly said, yeah, we know that there's a guy up there, you know, in the words of the down-to-earth, the sim, another joy in my life, you know, uh, who exhaled, like, who is that guy, like, you know, you gotta love this man, because, um, he brings back our childhoods, and I'm stuck as a six-year-old for eternity, you know, I don't mind, but, uh, it could be really intense, and this was one of those, the last couple of days, so it gives me greater brain powers, um, but meditation, um, uh, isn't, that's not my road, um, although I do some meditation, it's not the thing, the thing is the hypnosis, and that's what Dr. Bruce Lipton, uh, un understands, it's the most powerful hypnosis that exists, in fact, uh, a key secret of my life is that when I was about, uh, four, I fell off a tricycle, and I was rushed to a little doctor in the middle of nowhere. There was nobody in that place but one little bald guy. And there was a fan with three blades, like red, yellow, and blue, let's say. And I was, I'm a born genius. They already knew that. Me and my brother Michael that went to heaven 21 years ago, who I'm grieving deeply for, and having recollections and um, that have taken 56 years, you know, practically to come back to me. And, um, and I got up, they just said nothing. The, the woman that took me near the foster, first foster mother, and the little doctor, not a word was spoken. And I was sitting there, I was always in chipper spirits until the, the evil foster home, where they basically killed me. I've died so many times. It's, I literally physically died four times and came back. So I've been born five times again on this planet, like total, in other words, since we all get one, you know. But, um, they turn when I got up, I was drawn to it. I just got up, stood in front of it, and the man must have turned the button on because when that fan started moving, Dina went to Mount Sinai with God. That's what he told me ages later. Uh, I've also been to other planets for all he's told me to. Uh, but so the stress thing is. The second you leave my work around, you're, it's overpoweringly whole, um, holy, yeah, but, um, hypnotic. You don't have a chance in the universe not to fall asleep. Like, it'll be one of the happiest days of my life when I could take, you know, 100 scientists or the best eight of you and challenge you or do this experiment with you. Just simply make a little, make a video. You'll be sitting there and watching the artwork move. You will all be asleep, snoring. So you have to be in a comfortable position. It's good if someone could turn the light out because you're not going to be able to get up and do it. I've fallen asleep on my artwork because once there is a certain moment, it's too late. That's when the creator has you. That's when their great intelligent, the creator has you. And there is a purpose. The purpose is revelations. It's cutting through all the baloney. And instead of speculating for all eternity, uh, as everybody has, excuse me, different spins, guesses, and all this stuff on the overall philosophy of life, you know, how life works and the biblical story and how much of it is true, because I promise you it's not all true. Like Adam and Eve, like, uh, no. And so, um, so I came to mathematically, sensibly prove that uh what's true is true and to discard things that's destructive and totally misleading as the adam and eve story is, uh, is. so it just goes like this um again when you move it there comes a moment when you'll hear voices or the artwork that uh let's say it's two black uh, pictures you know drawn in black and they look like maps well, as you're moving it, all of a sudden, it'll become like a beautiful green and blue, like it, it changes it, right before you fall asleep. It also does an optical illusion. As you're pulling it, it makes it look like the, the bottom piece is, I'll have to show you guys, but um, I've been brimming over, and um, I'm living a hell life in poverty. I barely ever eat uh, anything right. Today, I had a nervous breakdown, so to speak, because I got my first milk that I've, I've had in years. And um, it's called Promised Land. It was the only one on sale. So uh, this is how I live my life. Is that that's a sign from God. Like every minute there's another sign from God. I, I don't know anything but doing work with God. Like I am so real effing thing. Like I'm not joking. What do you expect from you know Moses' niece? Like you know. And I am under the anointing in Ecclesiasticus. Which is awesome. 
of all the descendants of my great grandfather Aaron, how many greats up there. So the stress thing, you move it, you fall asleep, and this is the time where, no, you're gonna be told the truth about things, or you're gonna have revelations, and somebody said it on a video recently, well, what if we could have uh, more genius inventors? That's what I'm here for. I'm an extreme genius. Like Albert Einstein's great and Lonnie Dot. I am an extreme genius. It means it covers everything about human nature, human relationships for the purpose of making the world better, not just one area. And so I'm gifted as a, a genius from India, math, and uh, and uh, uh, and have a new science. Like it, it's in your world. It's the quantum physics world where you secretly, quietly figured out what I loved Dean so much for. I'll read and, you know, once saying on somewhere, you know, like, look, I secretly line up the scientists that do believe in God like that. It's like, yeah, how the hell will we get anywhere if we just all just kept pretending or you guys just kept pretending? So I didn't mean to babble like this, but this is what came out. So now I really want to show you if I have, like, even a minute. So I'll figure out how to put this thing here. Like, my phone, you know. This is my altar, it's my garage, and this is my special area I had here. So, the bottle, okay, is to show you, this was a Snapple, by the way, my absolute favorite, like, something Apple, I don't know what it was. It's been years, I don't have money, so I don't, I, I what to you is normal is extreme luxury to me, like, so it goes like this. I have a house, I don't have anything else in the universe, but the, excuse me, but the things that I have created... I have nothing of value, except like a, a few billion dollars worth of uh, three Domenico Feta plaques that are so supernatural, it, it's frightening, you know, so to speak, or laughable, or joyful, or awesome, all that, and um, I'm dying and waiting for someone to get back to me, so this is hopefully going to prove to you that uh, what it's about is love, what it's about is I became electromagnetic since my I plucked out my tooth in great pain and suffering for like over about 11 months, man. I was working on it for hours every night. I could hear God. He would say, Dean, you're doing an exceptionally great job, like out of millions of people. Like, I'm like, oh, okay, because I am always six years old or younger when I'm talking to God, like practically every time. And that's been many times. Like, that's not a big thing for Jewish people. I don't know. So it goes like this. Let me get this rock out of my way. <sighs> Isolate rocks and really long uh, Hosanna branches, I call it. And the thing is that I feel it. The thing is that it is slaying me in the Holy Spirit. So if you figure out that what Pentecostals do when they really are speaking in real tongues, and we seriously do, um, it's a vibrational thing, and you, it's a whole science, like. A, you know, you guys need to look into that pretty soon, and I'll be happy to show you. Like, um, immediately will make me stop crying if I'm hysterical. Just anything that I'm saying in tongues, not that particular thing. I speak in the language of every language that exists in tongues. Like, German will be, uh, Hebrew could be, English would be, I don't know how I know that, I just know it like that. Um... It, it all works because um, you're having an intense, your most deepest heart feelings. What matters to you the most? What matters to me the most is ending pain and suffering of children and then of, you know, the rest of us. Well, actually, I'm one of them. No, but it goes like this. So here you go. If I look at it, so... So now I go to church, the pastor breathes on me, I'm on the floor. This has happened 125 times, millions of witnesses at the Refuge Church of God for four straight years up until about a year ago. And um, so now I looked it up a year later. What do you call falling on the floor at church, being slain in the Holy Spirit? Then my black friend laughs at me and goes, ah, Dina, we call that catching the Holy Spirit. Well, it's real. So what's happening is I'm going to slay anything that I touch in the Holy Spirit. But that, in turn, when I catch it, is going to slay me. But I became an extremely, like, the strongest warrior that exists, you know, spiritually with with this the slaying thing. Because normally it knocks you down and you have that deeper-than-death sleep that I challenge your meditation. It's still not going to ever compare to 
you went there for God, he knocked you down, now he's going to talk to you. Like, I have seen my Uncle Moses, and I have, it's all tied into it. the more, most incredible story that exists. Like, sorry, like, I don't know what to say, like, there's just too much to tell you. So, I'm not looking at the bottle at the moment. It doesn't matter. Okay, I caught it. I feel it. I know I look like hell, guys, but, you know, I was gorgeous four years ago, but it's over now. I'm pushing 56 on 1020. Now I am looking at it on the video thing. It must respond. Now, whether I look at it or not again, I'll just, uh, let's see, not look at it. Okay, it's within a few seconds. It is, it is power. You guys need to be, you know, monitor, doing a CAT scan. Yeah, my brain is off the charts 24-7 and all. I'm a loner and I have tons of knowledge. Just one little tidbit is, like, uh, when the stones fall, they go where they want to. I let them go where they want to, and I notice that they're going where they want to. So, in the words of the rabbi, life didn't just come from live things. It's also come from dead things. Weird as that sounds, because he says, well, what the hell was there? You know, before there was anything alive. So, and then I think, well, God was alive. So, but anyway, the point being that I I tuned into things, objects, not just animals and whatever else in nature. So, with that said, this bottle, and not only that, but they show an intelligence. Like they follow each other, they line up. You know, they're like related, and purposeful, they do things that they want to do if you let them do it, but in the words of Gareth Davies when I was a Mooney like 30 years ago and I found a poem he wrote, and it said simply, what is this life if full of care, we have no time to stand and stare, maybe, maybe that stayed with me, it goes like this, if you, if you let things show you what they're gonna do, then, then I can sure show you. And I could do this for hours and hours, and I have, and that's how I know I've done at least three million times. Now, I use this hand because it will pull it down faster. Uh, and when I do look into it, it will immediately react. Especially when there's light involved. Bam. I don't know, you know, it's hard to do this by myself. I'm looking at the light reflected on the top of it. One... Two seconds. See, a lot of times it's already, you know, I get it settled, alright? Whoa, this is coming at me. Oh, you should see how things attack me. Like, you know, one time I had said, uh, bringer of the Holy Sp Ah, just in time, man. At least a few minutes, at least.